What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always say, Truth, can you get some legends in here? Can you get us somebody that we can learn from in the drill culture? People we seen on the internet a little while ago. Today, I think I was lucky enough. Murder gave me an opportunity to speak with him. For the people who don't know what's going on, though, you'll let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, legend. Yeah, for y'all that don't know, man. Big murder, man. I'll make murder church, you know. EBE murder. Uh, ain't shit caught here, y'all know how we come, man. Uh, most definitely. I see you got the guys with you. I can't ask where y'all from, bro. Every second it calls. Uh, Angel City, man. Angel City, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. What the fuck going on? No, I, I, I stay with my maniacs with me. Uh, you know, get busy gang members. Most definitely. Angel City, get busy gang. Now, you know I'm a drill historian. When you name the blocks, you know I had a lot of people named blocks, man. For sure. When you say that 87th, right? 82nd. 82nd? Yeah. That's like the east side, right? For sure. Right. I hear a lot about the east side. The the the, the deep over east side. Not that cross uh cottage, tracks, so Stony yeah. Island shit. We far as east you can go. Ain't no more nothing behind us. I'm going the water. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, you probably been asked this a lot, but I want to ask because I never had a chance to speak with you on this platform. Sure. What is the East Side? I, I hear the state the late thing. I didn't know that was something. That seemed like that irritates some people. When it I it, it, it sounds good. That's what it is. That's a people like a cliche, not a cliche. That's I, I, I'm wording that wrong. Basically, right. the East Side to me is Stony Island. Anything past Stony Island going east, you over east. Right. Anything sure. west of Stony Island, your ass is South Side. South Side. Right. <laughs> no, I South it. Side. What's the difference, though? Because the low end got numbers, the south side got numbers, the east side got numbers. People tell me, though, when I interview them off camera, they say, truth, don't ever go on the east side. Is that dangerous out there? You ain't from the east yeah. side, don't take your ass on the east side. It get real slimy grimy over east, you know? Right. Really, all through Chicago, but over east specifically, you get like that. Right. For sure. How was it for you growing up out there? Was it difficult? Well, you was numb to it. I was, I, I was kind of numb to it because I came from, I came from the hundreds for real. I grew up in the hundreds. Oh, it was, it was like that over there too. So I, it's like shit. I was already adapted to the lifestyle. Right. But when I got, when I got over east, it, it, I definitely got experience to a lot of most shit, a lot of crazy shit. It just. It just shit went, went, went with the way I was living. I had to adapt. Right. But I tapped in real quick shit. I actually grew a liking to it. Uh, and the name Murder, been Murder before over East, but over East made Murder for real. For sure. No, I get it. When did you get into the rap? When was the moment Murder said, I'm finna jump in this drill shit? Because I seen the drill pop off around 10 ish, 11 ish, maybe earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'll probably say yeah, like ten for real. It okay. kicked off, but I was, I've been rapping for a minute. Shit, uh, before before the the video, before the YouTube, before the actual mixtape was dropping and shit, I've been rapping since like I say like oh nine. Right. Before before Keith really popped off and everybody wanted to rap and shit, I was already doing that. Nah, you know what? I totally agree with that. I was gonna say this later, but since you just said that. You know, I do a lot of research on the internet on some drill story and shit, okay? Right. I noticed when Keith and them kind of blew up, that was about nine years ago on YouTube. Yeah. I see you with videos like right around that time, too. Yeah. You know, I see you got some shit called Sko Shit. That Sko came shit. out eight years ago. Been through it all in that Sko Shit. Yeah. You actually got a song called Too Much Too. That's cracking almost a half a million views. That's like six, seven years ago. Yeah. yeah. You feel yeah. like you didn't got forgotten in this shit? Because I think you should be way bigger. I, I think you're like, big, but I do think you should be way bigger, Murder. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I feel like I for sure got forgotten in this shit because man, coming with the streets, if you're not ten toes with the music, right? Consistently back to back videos in the studio. Yo, you you will lose it yourself. You will lose it yourself without the fans like forgetting about you. You will be like, all right, this is some shit I'm I'm gonna do when I got time for it or when I feel like it. You ain't really putting your all into it from the drive. Then me and niggas that been in my position and 
back and forth to jail and shit like that. Right. Certain niggas are lose. They drive for this shit. Right. I get it. Now I had to ask you a few one more questions. You know, we got you here. I had to see where you was going, see where we can go. You feel me? You know I kind of want to jump right into it. The people that been following me, they know I got a list right here. I got some questions you kind of link to in the drill coach. Kind of want to start right now, if that's possible. Let's do it. Um, how did you meet the legendary EBE band? Man, I'm about tired of this fake ass energy, this fake ass love I've been receiving, bro. Not only from random people that don't even know me, that hate me so much for no reason, but my own homies, my own brothers. Y'all claim to be my motherfucking brother. Y'all claim to love me, but won't even call me to check on me, bro. Won't even call me to make sure I'm straight. Only time you text me is to get up with me to try to get some moves together or try to uh utilize me for what I got. And I don't even got shit. Uh, my fucking boy, my fucking rapping man. <laughs> uh, I'm at dance through... Um, my homie, uh, Chris Rock. Okay. You know, that's, that's, that's big bro and shit. They, they was going to school together and shit. And, um, they was in college together. And, you know, bro was bumping our music. Right. For the scene. And, and, and Benz came. He, damn, yeah, bro. I'm high. He, he, like, he was fucking with him. He was locked in with bro. And Benz was rapping too. But, like, shit, he didn't have videos and shit like that. You feel me? But he was a, still raw as hell. Raw right. ass. You know, so we linked in with him. He, bro, uh, my boy Chris Rock tapped us in together. And shit, we've been rocking out with him since then. I locked in, did a song with him. And at first it was like on some, just I had a random feature. Right. But my boy, he was locked in. He wanted to, he like, man, fuck a feature. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out here with y'all. Like, for real, he, right. man, he locked in. And bro, we came home. Shit. He one of the guys. Right. When he started getting into music shit, y'all started dropping videos together. With him being like, you know, what they call the white rapper, you know. Right. He started standing out now, you know. Videos sure. started doing good. Did that cause any problems? No. Ain't cause like as far as the fans like the fans shit. was instigating shit, you know, they on the blogs and shit talking about how he a stone he white. This right. all this dumb shit. He's stone, bitch. Shut up. Let right. me fuck you up. So, that, so you know, but I I would say it was like when he first came around, it was certain niggas. I was like, damn, you know, like damn, like I feel like y'all putting too much into him for him to just come around. Right. But, so he wasn't born and raised over there. Nah, he wasn't born and raised over east. Okay. He wasn't born and raised over there. He over, from over east. Yeah, he from over east for sure. Right. So you knew the legend too? That's up. Oh, you too, huh? That's yeah. up. They told me the same way he man, met. He is from. Yeah, he from our hood. hood. He from our block. Man. Is it weird seeing stories about bands on the internet? Y'all know him in real life. Is it yeah. weird seeing coverage about him? I'm trying to like look at that shit. Yeah, right? uh, that shit, bro. Yeah. Because shit so shit so crazy. Like, like I say, the the fans, the blogs, they gonna. They gonna drag. They will drag you any minute. They 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 feel like it's a chance to drag you or uh, right. try to build some shit on your name, especially after, you know what happened to bro. Right. Yeah. So everybody got got their own little input on how they want to talk about how they want to talk about bro. You even got some fans that feel like oh he shouldn't have never came fucking with us. Right. Certain shit wouldn't have happened the way it happened. Right. But, you know what I want to get into that. You know not the. To slow you down, but I kind of want to get into what you was going to lead to. You know, I woke up one morning. You know, I interviewed E.B. Benz two times. My brother, my brother, he's dead out in the laundry mat. Mom's ass, sent his ass on the crash. Put his ass on one of those smoke with us, bro. You see, he tagged you and all these motherfuckers social platforms trying to get some clout, bro. Man, got hard yesterday, motherfucker, and his motherfucking vibe, man, he I got an opportunity to interview him two times over the phone. I was doing phone interviews. Sure. But you know, one day I woke up in the morning. The blog site's going crazy about a story about EBE bands in Rockford, Illinois. Man, 
man is found guilty of killing a Rockford rapper, and he's on the run. 24-year-old William Arzadi is one of three men charged in the death of William Pickering back in 2019. Pickering's remains were found in rural Winnebago County. Arzadi didn't show up for his trial yesterday, but a jury still found him guilty. He's set to be sentenced in September. Dakota Graff pleaded guilty to first-degree murder earlier this year. Colton Kenneker is out on bond and due in court in August. If you know where Arzadi is, call Rockford Police or Crime Stoppers. Um, Norma Street reported a little nosy now, so I, I started looking into things and, you know, I heard a horrible story about something happening in the EBE bands. How did you feel when you heard that story about him? Man, when I heard that story, man, I was still locked up. It fucked me up. Like, it was, it was really, like, uh, damn near unbelievable at a point in time because you, man, the chances you see people die every day. Randomly, even even losing your guys, like you, will, it'll fuck you up. But to the magnitude of what happened, right. you know, it's like, damn, like it was deep. It, it was way deeper than just street beef or a motherfucker just coming through shooting and a nigga getting shot. You know, the way the way bro went out, that shit was that shit was treacherous. It was it was a that shit was crazy. All right, what about you, Lazy? How did you feel about that shit? I get a strong, I get a strong feeling from you, Legend. You know, I can tell you ain't to play with. I can tell. Man, it was just I, I didn't believe it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't believe. It. Yeah, it was like it took me a minute to be like, damn, you really gone? Because right. it, it, the Mac, like everybody know, of course, the blogs, the the media was following this shit, like, because bro was like. Right there, to being oh, the cup. to being um, the, the best shit. he could be. He was he was right there to right. really getting up. He then he paving the way for us. Like it was a point in time, me and Nero dropped out uh, a video probably like two years ago. Rappies and dedication uh -huh. and dedication to bands and fans dope was video. like, yeah, no, nah, it's old, it's old. Video. I said it's a dope video. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And the fans is like, damn, y'all trying to clap. You know the fans gonna drag me. I'm trying to cloud up our band's name. Oh. And, Y'all trying to use this to get y'all exposure, get y'all numbers back up. What? This our brother. This our, this my rap. Right. Real nigga. Like, when me and Nero did that time for that home invasion, nigga Benz was our rapper. He was, he did the home invasion with us. I don't know to say. So he, he didn't get caught. You know, he didn't get caught. He was out here. He was out here putting work in. Right. He was the, he, he was out here. Be putting the stepping stone together for shit, the whole GMEBE. At the time, it was still GMEBE. Right. How you feel, feel big guy? How you feel about that? Shit, it's fucked up, bro. I just seen Mo. He was just at Mo Gotti crib. Shit, crazy. Yeah. Shit, he was just on the block and shit. Shit, that shit just fucked my head up. I wanted to know that because I don't see a lot of people, you know, I don't get an opportunity to speak with a lot of you guys to, to ask that. You knew Bands too? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man, Bands was anybody that's really from the. Anybody that's saying they EB or GME or what the fuck ever, Titanic. they know Bands. Because right. Bands, as soon as Bands came around, he, he let it be known like he had to stay like this. He locked in. He ain't what? Right. He real nigga for sure. Now, I gotta ask you this. You know, with this rap shit popping off, you being part of this group, the internet focusing on rappers, you moving around careful now, right? You got your face mask on. Oh right? yeah, you know, I don't even play like that. Huh? Right. This motherfucker like I got so many of you.